Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Root Solutions video. I'm Rory Bocott and today I'm going to run through and just show you a simple axis pattern. So I have in my model here a hole which I will just show you. Uh, so I'll just go into the sketch of this hole just to show you how I've set this up. So I've just got my reference lines running down the middle uh, and a simple dimensioning scheme just to constrain that hole in place. So with that hole now set we're now going to pattern this um, around this central axis. Okay. So with the hole selected, I'm going to choose pattern from my ribbon. And in the pattern drop down here, I'm going to choose axis. So the axis pattern is sort of split, split into two sections. Um, so there's this first section here, which is what we call the first direction. And then I'll show you um, the second half in a bit, um, which is taking a look at the second direction. And that'll become more um, obvious as we as we look at that. So we picked our feature, we've entered the pattern. The first thing we need to tell Creator to do with an axis pattern is what are we rotating around. So this can either be an axis, which we have here, um, this could be an edge of your model, or it could be one of the values on your coordinate system, so an x, y, or, or you know z. So I'm going to pick my datum axis here. Immediately Creator will then start prompting um, that pattern. So just to run through on what we have up here. So this first box here, this is the number of um, instances we want in our pattern. So let's put in, say, 6. The next value is then the distance between each of these instances. So currently it's at 90. Um, but if I grab my drag handle, we can pull that back. And we can reduce the distance between each of those values. OK, um, the arrow here then flips the direction. OK, or you can use the drag handle to do that as well. This next icon, this will equally divide the number of instances. OK, so if I click this, we're now equally dividing six instances across 360 degrees. I could change this. I could say 180. We're now dividing six instances equally across 180 degrees. Let's go back to 360. We've now met all the requirements for our, our pattern. So if I hit OK, we then pattern that hole around that central axis. Let's go back into pattern with edit definition, and I'll show you the second half here. So this is the second direction. So what you can do is with an axis pattern, as well as going around a common axis, we can also um, come out in the second direction, identified by this blue arrow here. So the first direction is going around, the second direction is stepping outwards. So the default value is just one, uh, so these one instance in the outwards direction, but we can increase that. Let's say three. Hit enter. We're now stepping out. Again, the value here is the distance between those instances. So using the drag handle or entering in the value, we can control that. If I now hit OK, we're now stepping out those holes as well as going around our common axis. Finally then, I will just show you one more thing. Under the Dimensions tab, um, what we have here is we have the ability to increment a dimension in a particular direction. So the first direction is the circular direction, and direction two is the outwards direction. So I'm going to increment a value of a hole in the second direction. So as soon as you click on one of these collectors, the original feature becomes active and all the dimensions pop up related to that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take our diameter and I'm going to increment that value as we step out. So double clicking on my value, it becomes active. And what I'm going to say, I'm going to enter in five here. And what that's telling Creo is every time I step out on each of these instances, increase the diameter of this hole by 5. Okay, So when I hit OK, Creo increases the diameter of that hole by 5 each time. Thank you very much for watching. Again, please leave any comments you need uh, in the comment section, uh, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks.